Hi everyone, uh, this is a quick video introducing the new Beanstack Tracker app, which is our summer reading program tracking software this year. I've already downloaded the app from my device's app store, and this is what happens when you open it up. So I'm going to click Get Started. Yes, my library is using this. Search Willoughby or Eastlake. Um, it's, we're under Willoughby Eastlake Library, so if you search Willowick, I don't think it'll work tap on the library and then we're going to create an account so if you don't have account you click here to sign up um, I highly suggest that if you even if you're an adult just wanting to sign your children up for the program that you sign yourself up as well so si pick the username and email and everything that's that's going to be for your entire family so it helps if your main person is an adult on the account, but it doesn't have to be, but it's just a suggestion. So sign up and follow all the different prompts uh, and just fill out the information. I already have an account, so I'm going to sign in. And it will also prompt you as you're going through to add more adults or add children and, and then just follow those prompts to get all of your information in there. All right, so it opens this page, and I signed it signed up with three different readers. So I've got baby reader, the adult reader, and the teen reader. So anytime you want to toggle between your readers, you just come up to this um, little button the, that has BR right now for baby reader in the um, upper right-hand corner. So this gives us our statistics and all of that kind of fun stuff. Um, there's no reviews on this one because I haven't written any. Um, you can also, when you when you add information, you can put titles in so that you get pictures here instead of just saying no titles. But you don't have to because th th this can be a little cumbersome if you're trying to put all that information in there. I would tell you it's really good to put that information in there because this does track it and keep, keep it for you. So if you want a really pretty thing with like real book covers and you know, fancy stuff to help you remember what you've already read, then take advantage of that. But if you just want to log your reading real quick and get out, then you can also do that. All right, so that's how we're, what we're going to do now. Click on the pot plus, log reading, we're in baby reader. So this um, keeps freezing on my phone, so I don't think I'm going to be able to sh actually show you how this works. But you're going to go in and choose a reader. And then these are the different options for choosing. So like I was saying, if you scan, like you can turn the book around and scan the barcode on the back and it'll pull it up right away for you. Um, that will get you those fancy pictures. But um, if you want something quick, we are, we are, our, 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 our program for children and teen both um, log by days so you get credit by putting in your days not the specific book so it can get a little confusing and tricky there and I don't want anybody to lose out on that so we're going to try logging a day oh it worked yay ah. okay so what day did baby get read to well baby already tracked today so baby's going to go back to yesterday which was the first day of the program and track that she was also read to yesterday so we're going to hit confirm and we, you can put how many minutes and how many pages, but I, there's no reason to for our program because we don't actually um, log that. So you can then just tap on finish. And now baby has, booyah, your reading has been logged. So now baby has two days worth of reading logged in here. It'll say that um, she only has, um, uh, maybe I didn't log for today. Let's try it since it seemed like it was working. And it's not working now, and it's completely frozen. It keeps doing this to me. It's done it to some of our other staff members, too. You can see I'm tapping all over the screen, and it's completely frozen. So I'm going to double tap, come out of it, and swipe up. This is my iPhone, so I'm sure it's a little bit different on uh, Android. And then open up the, the app again, because it just keeps happening to me. And I think it's partially because my phone is really old, um, it's an iPhone 6, so it's really old. Um, so it, I think I'm just having problems with that. But see, now it says that the baby has two reading sessions, so that is all good and logged, okay? So um, uh, there's another video where I show you how to redeem tickets that you earn, and let me show you how you would earn a ticket. So baby has these two activities, and you can see both badges are grayed out. So I'm going to go ahead and click on view all.
Baby went to a virtual program yesterday. She watched Outback Ray do his awesome, amazing animal show, so I'm going to go ahead and say that she did. So there we go. So now it says that Baby has earned five tickets, and it says visit the drawing section of this challenge. And you're like, what? I don't see a drawing section. It's very, very confusing. So there's a whole other video that explains this, but in a very fast way, but I'm going to show you how to get to it from here. So you're going to go back to home under Baby, and then you have to tap on this Imagine Your Story, and it brings up this whole new menu, and see the drawing thing at the very, very end there with the ticket on it? Tap on that, and then you're going to pick whatever item you want and add tickets to that, okay? So you can add tickets, you can subtract tickets, you can choose them and then come back later. Uh, make sure you read the descriptions because they're really important. They tell us how many winners there are and um, other information like that, but you have to actually tap through them to see it. So like um, the Kings Island one's really important. So if you tap on Kings Island, you'll see it's four free tickets to King Kings Island. Kings Island is in Cincinnati. Not very many people are probably going to be traveling down there, let alone valid through Labor Day. So you have to use them by before Labor Day. Yes, they are opening before then, so you'll be able to use them if you're going down there. But um, So you may not want to put your stuff in this. So make sure you're reading it. It does say that this one ends on June 29th right here under the picture. That's because we're going to do that raffle drawing earlier than all of the other ones so that someone, whoever wins it, actually has a chance to use it. Okay, so that information is pretty important. It tells you if there's any expiration. So this is just a free month membership for Kitty Jungle. There's no expiration. All right, so any of that stuff, and if you have any questions about it, you can always ask us. The other thing, too, to look for is, like, this free book choice. There's going to be at least 35 winners. So this is by far the easiest one to win. Um, the children also will earn a free book choice when they get to 28 days of logged reading. That's an automatic thing, and you'll see that under your rewards. So Baby has received, these are the two possible rewards. So she already um, earned the sign-up bag, which you get just for registering, or even coming into the library and saying that you want to register. Then you can get a sign-up bag that has a bookmark in it. It has some printed out activity pages that are really better for older children, like tangrams and anagram challenge things and stuff like that. It's not so much definitely for babies, but there is a little craft in there and stuff like that. And then at 21, 28 days, you can see that she will get that uh, free book choice. All right, so that is um, how to sign up for summer reading and how to log a little bit of stuff in summer reading for children and adults and teens.